Thank you for introducing. Uh, my name is Atsushi from Japan. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, this time, is the, this is the first time application for ACI award, and uh, we got a uh, uh, first prize in low-rise building. I'm very happy, and we are not depressed. We enjoyed the yesterday and today, and maybe tomorrow. As you can see in this picture, uh, this Boyoro is the just, uh, as you know that Japan is surrounded by the sea, but we don't have this kind of building so much, just face to the seashore and just stand above on the coast. And this is the hotel's imaginary picture. Maybe this is very, uh, how do you say, oh, uh, long established old hotel. Originally it was made with wooden timber, and uh, so this time it's too old. Uh, we renew the project, we renew by the uh, RC concrete. So <coughs> this architecture combining the hardness and the richness of the Northern Sea of Japan through food and the space. So, but the uh, chloride ion attack is the main durability issue. So, and of course we have to achieve the low carbon concrete. Uh, we collaborate the main, uh, this these 10 members, and this time only three or four persons joined here. So at first, uh, I will invite the structure designer, uh, Satoshi Okamura, to explain this project uh, structure system. This name of Bo Yoro, Bo means view, Yo means oceans, and the Ro means observation tower. It shows what the building is. Concrete walls for guest room face due west, and sun setting over sea of Japan is beautifully uh, taken into the room. First floor of the building. Um, this area is national uh, nature park, so construction is severely restricted. Boyoro stands on the rock shore Wind, uh, salt, uh, wave splash are very hard, especially in winter. Under such severe conditions, structure of Boyoro is simple <laughs> bearing wall system without column. We design to make excellent view from guest room and beautiful exposed concrete in interior space. For durability and resistance to salt damage, thickness of concrete cover is 80 mm on outside, which is twice as usual thickness, and is covered with mortar. Through careful construction and inspe inspection, we are able to pour high quality concrete. Using local crafts, we created new modern Japanese space with shadows and light. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Shigeyuki Nishijiwa, uh, just wearing from Japan. Uh, I was in charge of task to make sure the strength concrete for this award case. Uh, this sensor is used uh, maturity method. Uh, one, one of the <coughs> uh, specific uh, feature of the award case is that uh, the sensor is not uh, embedded uh, inside the concrete structure. Uh, the point is that we use a, a sustainable one which we, will, uh, we call a smart sensor a homework system that can be used over and over <laughs> again. Uh, by use of smart sensor homework system, uh, it becomes uh, unnecessary uh, to have the job of curing 
uh, specimen. Uh, the compress, compression test is laboratory and even the uh, disposal of uh, industrial weight from specimen. Uh, maturity method is very popular in the northern U.S., but uh, in Japan it's not so popular. And uh, he developed the new sensor system to monitoring the uh, temperature of the concrete, not inside it, just put on the formwork. So according to these uh, techniques, the, uh, based on the Japanese architectural standard, we have to uh, keep the formwork for eight days during the winter condition if we use the slag cement. So, but uh, thanks for this system, we uh, we can check, uh, confirm that if only three days it's enough. So five days earlier than the uh, usual. So uh, we can use the slag cement and uh, chip the low carbon concrete, and uh, we have to uh, increase the resistance to the chloride ion penet penetration. Uh, he is now absent, but uh, we. We use the newly developed shrinkage reducing agent and we collaborate the test mixing with the manufacturing plant and so many things. And so this, this is a challenge for the, for our project. Thank you for listening and I, I will introduce about the Japan and Fukui, this Ryokan's location. Uh, we enjoyed Boston Robuster yesterday. <laughs> and but, uh, in this less, uh, uh, hotels, they serve the many famous crab. Uh, this is Echizen crab. It's so expensive. Uh, I have never eaten, so I want to ask the contractor, Mr. Tanaka, uh, <laughs> which is better, the lobster in Boston and the Echizen crab in here? Hello. Uh, lobster is very uh, delicious. And it's very delicious too. <laughs>